In today's video, we'll be learning how to cut and sew this turtle neck line. So I'll be showing you how to cut a turtle neck. So as you can see, I've already drawn a startup line. I drew it at the center so I was able to add my allowance on this. So this part is just going to be my back startup line. And for the measurement, I'm going to be inserting. I already have a dress that I'll be using a measurement for this. So we are going to get the back put it together like this and you measure it please don't go and measure it all around and divide it by two no so measure it like this where you can add your zipper allowance separately to the back and not to the back and front ensure that the two shoulder meet then down to the shoulder what i have is three point six for the back part so from this line now i'll mark three point six And I'll mark the height I want this collar to be. I want this collar to be one inch. So I'll take my rule and connect it to that point. That is the height of my collar. So to get the front part, I'm also going to place the front part of fold like this. So I'll place the two shoulders together and I'll measure. And for the front, I have four inches. So I'll just come here and measure four inches for the front. And I will also connect it to the height of my collar, which is one inch with a trace line. From that point, now you're going to tighten the neck. So I'm going to come in here by 0 0.5. And I'll use my rule and connect it. You are also going to tighten the center of the neck so that it is not gapping at the side. So since we are not tightening it down, our dart will not be facing down but up. So now, I'm just going to face my dart upwards because they are trying to tighten the up so the dart will be facing up and not down. So for my dart intake, it should not be more than 0 0.5. Yeah, so I use 0 0.5 as you can see. So I'm just going to close the dart like I would. So I just closed it and I'll pin it up. So you can see the new shape, the color is taking, the line has just changed. So I'll just connect it to the height I want. Remember this is the back and this is the front. So for the front now, you are going to connect it with a slight curve. like this so this is all so right now i'm just going to be adding my sewing allowance all around this part is straight so i'll use my rule and draw it this side is kind of slanted follow the shape it's giving i'll not be adding anything to this part because this part will be on food then i'll go ahead to extend my line my slant line a bit so i can just add my sewing allowance to this point and i would also just connect this here this part is true that is why i'm using my rule like this so quickly i'll cut this out and i'll transfer to my fabric adding only allowance to this point because my paper wasn't enough to add allowance to it So this is what we have. I'll transfer this to my fabric and I'll be cutting two of these, ensuring that the center part is closed. One for the lining and one for the dress. So I'll pin it up and cut. So here I just placed on my fabric and cut. I added the allowance to the back like I said because I couldn't add it on my paper. So quickly I'll just unpin this. As you can see. I cut this place on fold. So now remember this is for the upside and this is for the down. So I'll just go and add my estate to it. I have added interfacing to both of them. I cut two, one will be serving as my lining. So I'll just place the two of them together like this. Mm -hmm. 
they're of the same size because i cut the both of them together one for lining so i'll just sew only the top part taking out the sewing allowance i added i have just sewn it like i said so i'm going to be notching it slightly so i don't cut through my stitch line so now i'm going to turn it over and i'll go and iron it here i've just ironed it down so i'm just going to stop stitch so like to guide me on the allowance i'm taking inside when i'm attaching it to the dress so here i've just top stitched it place it together like this and i'll notch my center of this i'll take my dress as well and i'll notch the center of this you notch the center front of the neck then you take your collar and you place the two notch centers together and you are going to quickly pin from the center to the side I'm going to pin it all around for ease in sewing. Pin it from the left to the right. After which you are going to take it to your sewing machine and you are going to sew it all around. So I've sewed it round. I'm going to overlock this place. This is the front. This is what it looks like. So next, I'm just going to finish this up. Check the description box of this video for a perfect zipper finishing. Meanwhile, this is the finished look of the color. Hope you like it. Please subscribe and like the video. Thanks. Thanks.